Okay, so now that you've made your prediction, let's have a check and see if you're right. So did you predict that very little would happen? In this case, what's happening is the force actually ends up in the downwards direction, the same direction as the gravitational force, and so we don't actually see very much difference at all. So we can write that out with our right hand rule. Our fingers point from the North Pole to the South Pole, and our thumb points in the direction the current's going. And you can see the force is then down the screen. Now in order to see something exciting, I'm going to have to change the direction of the magnetic field. So let's do that now. Okay, so now the magnetic field lines are coming out of the screen, and if we close the switch now, you can see the wire jumps out of the magnetic field. So let's have another go at that, because that's fun. So there you go, it managed to jump again. So let's now have a look at a problem that we can solve using our equation F is equal to I L cross B. So the question is, a large current, I equals 100 amps, flows in a northerly direction through a wire near the South Pole where the magnetic field strength is 65 times 10 to the minus 6 Teslas directly upwards. What is the force per unit length on the wire? Okay, so let's draw a little diagram. Here is our current flowing in the northerly direction. So here's northeast, and the magnetic field strength is coming directly upwards. So let's represent our magnetic field like this. And we're trying to calculate the force per unit length on the wire. So we will use F is equal to I L cross B. Now in this case L is northerly and B is out of the screen. So these are perpendicular to each other. So this will be equal to I L B. And we're asked to calculate the force per unit length. So what we want to know is well what's F over L? And that will be equal to I B. So this is equal to 100 times 65 times 10 to the minus 6. And so solving that, we end up with 6.5 times 10 to the minus 3 newtons per meter. Now it's a force, so it does have a direction. So to get the direction, we need to use our right hand rule. So point your fingers away from the screen and your thumb up the screen, and you'll see that the force on the wire is this way. So that's in the easterly direction. So in a an easterly direction.